is to put one foot into Saturday. Yeah, we've seen this show before. We've seen it for the last two days. You Game knew it. He knew it. Match. And that is Reese Colley Stephen out of the race Johnson. to win Group A. Stephen Johnston getting a vice-like grip on top spot. The perfect start for the Scotsman who sends Collie packing by a margin of three legs and another three-figure finish to win it. He is just chucking them in for fun this week, Stephen Johnson, and he's going to be hard to move from the summit of Group A. Next up to try and catch him up, it's Tom Sykes. He takes on Jimmy Vansky. TV screens. Fred Truman, I'll see thee. I'll see tops. And Going raise you a 1-1-6. One, one, I was going to say Tommy over the Maguire, shoulder, but 85. it would probably be sort of under the shoulder of Jimmy Van Shee. It's like trying to see the sun past a totem pole. He gets a go at the ball. Big dart. Big moment. And he Going delivers. Absolutely leg. superb Sponsor. from Sykes. And for Sykes to make the start. He needs. Game Gets there in the end. The Good performance. Tom Lower Sykes. average and Jimmy Van Ski. But a 4-2 win for the Yorkshireman that keeps him in the hunt, at least for now. Restores that six-point deficit to Stephen Johnson at the top of the table. An average in the 90s, as I mentioned there. Six points worse off than Van Ski. He hit two out of three on his doubles. But Sykes at 85 on the ball was the tungsten table turner. He stays in the race. Van Ski can't now win the group. Daryl Pilgrim in between Sykes and Johnson is in action next. He takes on Damien Moult. Don't be shocked by the fact that Damien could play very well today because his difference from Monday to Tuesday was 100. so bright. Yeah, 16. Double eight. Monday, he was missing these shots. Yesterday, he was getting this shot. Eight. Wednesday, maybe yeah, more like Monday. Yeah, although he was unlucky there. They weren't badly thrown darts, just didn't go in, hit the post, so to speak. Pilgrim may punish. On the ball. In Going the ball. The Pilgrim is left. perfect. Apologises, but don't apologise for that. That was beautiful. That we require so for 20. Pilgrim... To whack a mole once again. Game Double ten the for a 4 1 win, and it Darryl is a Pilgrim. thumping victory for Daryl Pilgrim. An average just under 104. He had 13 three figure scores and a three figure finish in that match. A 1 2 2, the highlight for Pilgrim. Mole played well himself, averaging 99, but could not get over the line against Pilgrim. And coming up after the break, a really juicy joust between Johnson and Sykes. Don't go anywhere. So the finishes, and it's very much an old school way of thinking. Yeah, trad, isn't he, Stevie J? No. Check score. you out going with the kids, Stevie calling Maguire someone four. trad or tradish. This is a good looking dish. It's for three nil, and Game that's what it is. This finishing this week Stephen has been Johnson. so so reliable. Two match darts go begging. Double nine. And Sykes can't 18. hold on. Stephen Ibrakora, 16. So that will be Tom Sykes disappearing down through the tungsten trapdoor in terms of winning this group. If Johnson can pull the lever. Game and that is how you do it. What a dart that is. Stephen what a way to Johnson. win it. 4-1. He sees off Tom Sykes and he is just slaying his opponents one after the other. Can we require 32? For the win. And a convincing one again. It's double eight again. And it's Game Pilgrim again. And it's 4-1 again. And it's a win again. And defeat once more for Reese Collier has gone down by that same scoreline against the top two in each of his first two on Wednesday. But Pilgrim ensures that he does remain in the race and keeps the pressure up on the so far unflustered Stephen Johnson. That pair will play in a couple of games' time in a match that may determine whether we have a grandstand finish or not. But before it, we will see Jimmy Van Ski take on Damien Moult.
It's all I said yesterday with Henry Dickon that I wouldn't be surprised if Damien what? went through the card today. That's not going to happen. But you can't really level any blame at him for losing his first game. He averaged 99. He's a very, very good player, is Damien. And this experience is going to be good for him. We've got no idea where he's going to end up come Saturday night. But if he was in the final game, I would not be shocked just like you. Just to remind viewers who maybe weren't with us at the Super Series in the early days, the very first week of Super Series action, Kieran Tian played the group stages. In fact, it was a transition that week. So he played them in Southampton in our previous venue. And finished bottom of Group A. And then on the Saturday night here in Portsmouth, he won. And he beat some proper players as well. Adams, Portella. He beat James Hurrell. And that is a wonderful first leg. Jimmy Banshee. Very nice fella. If you're watching this, Dave, bring a few copies down. I wouldn't mind reading it myself. I'll pay you for it. I was expecting a freebie. Game shot because there's no Saturday. freebies and darts. Jimmy Van and Jimmy G. is telling that Damien, Damien right now. That is a great second leg. Jimmy Vergoyne, 95. Just trying to impose himself as he goes for double 16. And wins Game the match with a 95 checkout. Are we going to see those two gentlemen going toe-to-toe -to -toe over the next couple of days in Group C? However, Jimmy Van Schke has got other ideas. He's only two points behind Tom Sykes in the table now with a brilliant performance there of 98.39. And that, it really, really was his best performance of the week. Previous to that, his best performance was in a loss, but that one he wins by four legs to three going into round number three. Both done the same thing in the end, haven't they? Hit a bull when they wanted a 25. And that is... Disastrous for Daryl. Or is it? <laughs> he almost said double one. What a weird Game checkout that is. First, you may not see Daryl a stranger Hilbert. 11 checkout this year. That was the worst, best checkout in hit all week. Of Daryl, the top spot. 40. Double top to do just that. Double 10. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, Daryl Pilgrim gets it done. Daryl Pilgrim. Four two, and Stephen Johnson is not yet there. Pilgrim still in the race, cuts the gap to a couple of points. And the Eagle is soaring at the Super Series. 18 points for him, 20 for Johnson. We are going to have a sprint finish. A grandstand finish in this group. Johnston, who's only lost one game a day, well, if he keeps that record up, will go on to win the group. But if he's beaten again, then Pilgrim is ready to pounce. Coming next, Tom Sykes takes on Damien Moult. Oh, I see. In one word. I only know two Dutch words. Yeah, but you can't say them. I know where two double is. Third leg. Tom Sykes. Tom gets himself into the game. Two dark kill here would take his average over 100. He's over the top. But he hits the 100 to win the match. In some style, a 4-2 defeat of Damien Moll. An average just shy of a ton in the end, 99.31. 3180s contributed to that. 3140s as well. And that nice... Straight ton check out to get the job done. That sees Sykes just strengthen his position in third place in the table. The man immediately behind him, uh, Jimmy Van Ski, is going to play the man immediately by, behind him, Rhys Colley, in a few moments' time. Dutch players out there. And one of the reasons that Vincent had trouble with his game is because he had back problems. And that is very common Whoa, in very tall people. Brilliant start from Jimmy. Lighting up the live lounge with a maximum. Carry on. Look at that. It's a perfect guide. Oh, Jimmy. 100. Still a good leg. 140 ahead. However, this game was always going to come with a few question marks. If you find yourself in the bottom three at this stage, 
There's got to be a reason for that. It's not as if the top three have been superior in every department. But at the minute, Jimmy might be tempted to do something spectacular here. Everyone does it these days. Everybody goes for the ball for a 10 data. Uh, Jimmy Van Ski is no exception. 34. Do you remember when Dimitri did it to Phil Taylor in Australia and he didn't like it at all? Even though he'd done it to multiple people in the past. 126. Jimmy requires 16. I don't think I've ever done it to anybody. Never even been tempted. Yeah, but you've never been on 50 after nine darts. That's a good point. Eight. He has become Which quite fashionable, though, hasn't he? Chris Mason did it here, didn't he? Oh, did he? Yeah. I didn't know that. He might lose a leg. Game shot on the fourth leg. He Bruce was on 50 Scott. after nine, went for the ball for a 10. Arrow this time. Colly will get a dart to win the match. 18. Double top. Game shot Great end match. after a real struggle for Reese Colley at times. Neither player really happy with the way that game was performed, but Colley should be happy to have picked up a couple of points and maybe that could be the rock stopper that turns his week around if he allows himself to revel in the result rather than criticise his own performance. As for Van Ski, well, 16 darts missed at double the problem for him and he goes down 4-3 to Reese Colley. Coming next, Daryl Pilgrim, who, remember, can still win this group and if he wins the match he's about to play will go joint top on 20 points. He takes on Tom Sykes. You require 48. He really fancied that check out. Does Pilgrim shut the door? Big dart. Big, 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 big dart. From Daryl Pilgrim. It's been a right royal darting ding-dong, this one. But will it be Mr. P? Oh, no. That's not the one he wanted. Tommy Raquan, 95. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. He went to the other one. Double 19. Sykes Game has stolen it. That's catastrophic for the chances of Pilgrim winning this group, and he knows it. As for Sykes, though, he is definitely going to be in Group B over the next couple of days. I think Sykes even feels just a tiny bit guilty of what he's accomplished there, but he might have to play it against Daryl for the next couple of days to continue what is a fascinating head-to-head, -head, which Tom Sykes has now by two games to one over the first three days. So over to you, Stevie J. Can you punch your ticket to Saturday against Jimmy Van Schke? Next. Stephen in Braguan, four. How many presents will present themselves to Stephen Johnston? Game shot in the wow. second leg. Wow. Stephen Johnston. Well, where did that come from? And that tells me that Paul Nicholson alongside me was well, spot on when he said Johnston Game. was feeling 10th because that was a release and a relief. Absolutely. You know what that was like? <laughs> I'd, I, just before you said, I don't think Jimmy can get over it. I think he's still feeling the reverberations of the echoes around the old church here in Portsmouth. For everybody Before tuning in on YouTube, 11. Jimmy Johnson was a very famous sports coach. Coached the Miami Dolphins from 96 to 99. Oh, and they're going to give it some to each other. Come on, let's have some. Even if he'd gone tops ball, I would have been more for that. Double two. Four. Stephen Johnston is getting Stephen early Christmas Raquan, presents 58. here. Something about Jimmy Vansky on the doubles as well. He's missed 30 darts at double in his last two games. Game on the fifth oh, leg. He's getting louder. Stephen Johnston. He's getting even louder. Well, the old saying, isn't it? Practice like it means everything. Play like it means nothing. Certainly hasn't been a match where the players have acted like it's meant nothing. And if Van Ski can take this, watch out. Listen up. Double six. 100. Didn't like that at all. Steven Does Bacuan, Stephen eight. like this? No score. He's missed five 
Not just match I mean, darts, requires, qualification six. darts. He is nervous in the background. I don't blame him. He's not been in a situation like this before. Game and he's sticker. definitely not been in a last leg Jimmy decider Benson. like this before. Jimmy he got so close. Six. He thought he'd done it. He thought he'd won it. He didn't. Game and he won't. Shot on the match. Jimmy Banshee. Simple handshake in the end and a rapid exit for Stephen Johnson who put his heart and soul into that darting duel but comes out on the wrong end and Jimmy Vansky was very happy with what he managed to do in that game. He's beaten the league leader and he's kept the race running. Stephen Johnson pegged back and Daryl Pilgrim could still catch him. The final round of fixtures will see Pilgrim take on Vansky. Johnson will play the final match against Damian Moore and may have to win it to qualify. Before we get in to that last round of fixtures, Moore and Reese Colley will go head to head in game 12 next. Requires 68. 68 for 4 0 in around about seven minutes. And he's going to have a big say the in the destination for first place in this group. Who will get it? Will it be Johnson? Will it be Pilgrim? Mole will play Johnson in the final match of the day, which Stephen may have to win. And he won't like what he's just seen because in six minutes and 52 seconds, Mole has won 4-0 against Collie, average 95, and has a 100% success rate on his doubles. That is not what Johnson wants to face in his final match. But the man that he's just had a huge battle with could do him a big favour and avoid it going to the curtain closer. Jimmy Vansky in action against second place Daryl Pilgrim and in, in a huge encounter after the break. Jimmy Two missed 22. darts for a vital scoreline. That was an aggressive first start. How's his double four? Oh, Ball right on the wire twice. They're not bad darts. Eight. They weren't badly thrown. They just missed. Didn't go in. And Daryl Pilgrim, write him off Game at your peril match. here at the Moda Darryl Super Pilgrim. Series. He's done his job. He's asked the question and he has forced Stephen Johnson into providing the answer because the last couple of matches involving Jimmy Van Ski have turned everything around. He beat Johnson 4-3 and now has lost 4-0 to Pilgrim, who is temporarily at least top of the table, meaning that Johnston, who's held that position all week, must beat Damian Mole in the last match of the day. Stay with us, but before that, Reese Colley is going to take on Tom Sykes. Damian Mole, or it'll be, it will be Daryl Pilgrim who wins the group. Will Johnson do it? Let us know your thoughts. 120. That's how you get 120 with two balls. Unfortunately, he didn't want two balls. Okay, so 27 off. That leaves 47. That leaves double 13. There is no way in God's green earth he was hoping to leave double 13, but it's worked. Well done, Reese. You've just Reece sipped from the cup of very, very strange checkouts. You get 133, you leave 150, which is two treble 19s, double 18. You get those three, Game show then you leave the shot he had, but he missed it. Reece and Reese Collie takes 100 out for 2 2. Great passage of play. That's just another spin on that. But 81 points separate us from the build up to that final match, and double 12 Game gives Tom Sykes an 11 dart finish. Tom so he will be in third position in the table and Reese Colley is going to finish in fifth. Great respect between those two. And over the last three days, Tom Sykes has had Reese Colley in his pocket. He's beaten him three times and that acceleration towards the end. And he remained perfect like Reese did on the doubles. It's 100% for them both. But Tom Sykes, just like Damian Moll in game 12, is four from four. We say goodbye to him for now. We'll see you tomorrow night. As for Reese, we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. We'll see everybody else for the next match, which is the clincher after this. 150. But he gets a chance here to break. Not just the throw, but the heart of Stephen Johnson. Damian Has Moore. he broken his spirit with that fabulous three-figure finish? Nine.
Well, now he doesn't look I mean, like a genius, does he? Because he should have had three darts at the outer ring. And Damien yeah, Moll only needs four, one. And Daryl Pilgrim Mull. only needs one leg to come from Moll. I mean, that six, cannot eight. continue. This has got to go in. Eight. And because it doesn't, Damien can send him into group Damien B. Require 80. Well, we knew a performance was likely from him. But holy Damien moly, what an end the to the day, Damien to the group. Mole. Stephen Johnson, he will not be able to believe what has happened. From basically being at the chequered flag, the engine stalled, the wheels came off, and Daryl Pilgrim was allowed to pass. Mole wins the last match, but the story doesn't involve him. It's Stephen Johnson who somehow has let slip that lead and ended up in second place. And it is Daryl Pilgrim who makes finals night by winning Group A. And we will hear from Mr P, who must have been through his own roller coaster today after this short break.